Hi guys, Ryu here with another tool for Blender. In this one, I want to show you 20 coolest features in Hardups. This video is really difficult to make because Hardups has so many amazing features that I really had to sit down and think which ones might be the best ones, okay, or the most useful ones. So the first thing is the modify assault. I think this is the the coolest feature of uh, hard ups. So when I add, you know, let me go here and open the modifier tab here, right? When I add modifiers in hard ups, um, hard ups will intelligently sort them out. So for instance, if I'm gonna add bevel and then go to sharp and then click, uh, alt click on it, I'm gonna add weighted normals at the bottom of the stack. And if, for example, I go to box cutter and start cutting this cube, right? Uh, the boolean is going to go to the top above the bevel and weighted normal so i don't have to move them like in vanilla to the very top to make sure that you know everything is shading correctly um, if i had a mirror it's also going to get added in a specific sp specific place under the booleans under the bevel but above weighted normals so you don't end up with you know uh, with problems right you don't have to move this stuff about in addition to all this you can simply go to um, this tab here and you can sort modifiers you can turn it off and on you can add modifiers that you want to sort uh, to this list so this is probably one of the coolest features and time savers in Adobe. yeah another thing that's really cool is uh, bevel all right now bevel is amazing because in vanilla blender what you need to do when you want to bevel something you need to add a bevel then you need to go here and you know add auto smooth and you need to go here and smooth it and then you have to go to the bevel and add segments and all this you know and change from none to to um because when you add a bevel right uh, by default is uh, set to none so you gotta change to angle then in your end segments it's just annoying you know in 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 hard ups it's just a one click you click on bevel and you sl you move your mouse you scroll your wheel to adjust the uh, amount of segments you you can press one to change profiles you know you have the whole massive menu with which you can just do all kinds of stuff in addition you can add bevel you know to multiple objects at the same time right so good luck doing that one in vanilla blender so this is uh fantastic okay and like i said uh, you know bevel's gonna get sorted automatically because of the modifier sort so if i gonna you know have a boolean and i'm gonna add bevel um bevel's gonna get added on top of all these edges but it's still you know um a cube that hasn't been cut i mean the cut hasn't been applied it's still live so you know fantastic right Okay, another thing that's really cool in hard ups is probably the shops um, sharp menu so when you go to um control tilde menu right and you can see under uh, general options the sharp options you know in vanilla blender if you want to for example add crease seam b weight or sharp you need to go to right mouse button click and to you know choose them uh, manually which is bloody annoying whereas in hard ups you can add all four of them at the same time with one click to all mesh and um, that's all the edges that are you know angled above uh, 30 degrees which by the way angle you can change further in here so it's just bloody convenient you can remove them as well the same you know same way all of them at the same time so this is amazing uh, another great function of sharpen is recalculating sharp you know so for example if you if you cut this and let's apply this with control uh, click on sharp and now i got this mesh applied but you know these edges haven't been sharpened right so all i need to do is simply control shift click on sharp and this will recalculate all the sharp sharp edges around so you know um, very convenient function uh, in hard ops and uh, i probably couldn't live without it not a really cool feature of hard ups is modifier scroll so let's say i had a cube and you know i'm gonna slice it a bit right then i'm gonna add a bevel and i'm gonna add a mirror so i'm gonna mirror to the other side and let's say that you know i, I wanted to see what kind of modifiers i have so i can scroll my mouse through the modifiers you know and turn them on and off if i want to i could for example shift click and move modifiers about okay so now in 2.9 you can drag modifiers but this is still a bit more intuitive in my opinion so this is a really good function the same goes to bull scroll so uh, you know if i have booleans running from box cutter or any really booleans doesn't matter what booleans are these right 
so I got some bullions going on here. If I'm going to go to um, bull scroll, I can actually recall the cutters. So in this mesh, it's not a problem, but imagine if you have, for example, 700 cutters running on the mesh. I got models like this, okay? So if you're gonna press Alt H to recover all the cutters, you know, that's a bloody mess. Like we have some cutters here that are from a previous mesh, previous deleted cubes, and I don't need them, it's confusing. So, you know, this is a fantastic way of recalling your cutters. Uh, you know, and you can start working on them, right? So these two functions. Now let me show you something cool about mirrors, okay? So mirrors in hard ups is just bloody amazing. So let's make it, you know, make a cube in here. Then let's just uh, grab another cube with two shape and drop it in here. So let's say that I had this and then I had another cube in here, okay, a bigger one. Let's say this was a mech leg, okay, and I had, you know, some kind of, I don't know, toes, um, you know, somewhere here in the front, okay, or, or whatever. And I wanted to mirror it across here, so across this cube, right, um, and mirror this across this cube, let me reset this mirror, there we go, and then across this cube. Which you can do with simply pressing A, it was gonna double mirror everything. See, so this is extremely convenient and um, very useful. You got stuff like mirroring through course or view, etc. So, mirroring hard ups is extremely powerful. Another bloody useful function of hard ups is curve extract, which, uh, which has many use useful features. Like, for example, you could go to curve extract and shift click on it on a, on a face, which will basically rip this face off and then solidify to it, which is a very quick way of uh, creating, you know, something like, for example, um, you know, sci fi plating. You know, if I wanted to add the plate in here, all I need to do is go to curve extract, and this is a separate object, right? So that's one. Two, you could uh, use curve extract on edges to, um, you know, um, to create pipes, you know, for example, like this, right? Not a very cool feature that I use a lot is the macro, which is, um, let's say that we have these two edges, uh, two faces in here. I'm going to insert them, okay? Uh, like this and I'm gonna go here and alt click on the macro and this is uh, basically gonna create an outset right very quickly that it's linked to the geo so like an outside boolean um you know with literally one click so this is not a way of creating paneling but this is like a panel that's actually adjacent not adjacent but it's actually connected physically to the geometry so you know um you could keep stuck in these effects uh, on uh, with for example a curve extract and now you got paneling on top of a paneling kind of you know kind of thing right really cool stuff okay another function that's brilliant i think it's shift bull so let's say i have a bullion here right but i wanted to change it to something else all i need to do is uh you know recall this bullion and then go to shift bull and i can scroll my mouse through all types of bullion so you got inset outset you know join intersection um, all kinds of stuff, uh, right? And then, for example, if I wanted to go to inset, right? I press T and I can adjust, you know, the thickness of this inset, okay? So this is, let me move this a little bit to the uh, to the right because it's overshooting with this shape here. You see what I mean? So it's bloody brilliant that it's so, qu so quick. If you try to uh, create an inset in, in vanilla blender, uh, you know, uh, you make sure that you can afford a therapist because after that one you will need one. Another function of hard ups is uh, bullions. So let's say if you want to use a custom shape, so shift D this. And now when I shift D this, you can see that I have all the bevels running on it and weighted normals, which is not ideal for creating uh, creating a boolean. So you need to remove them. Now the way to do this is simply go here and go to operations and shift click on smart apply, which will basically duplicate the shape, remove the bevel and weighted normals. Now I can use it as a boolean. So I'm going to click on this object Q and simply, you know, difference, right? And you can access other booleans as well or shift pull. So genius function and extremely powerful, um, you know, uh, allows for very quick workflows a smart apply has another function which is basically applying modifiers so let's say that i had a cube right let me just grab a cube here 
and I was running some battle on it, okay? And I was running some bullions on it, right? And waited normals. Now, let's say I had a mirror as well. Now, if I wanted to quickly apply bullions, I can just go to Control Sharpen, and this will apply bullions, right? You can see here. And also, there was a display message on the screen if you didn't see it. So, uh, let me just mirror this again. And I Control Click, and there you go. You got this information here, what's going on, right? Now, I could also do this with Smart Apply, but Smart Apply will apply everything except for bevel, the last bevel and weighted normals. So if I click on Smart Apply, you can see that everything was applied, including the mirror, right? So you got two ways of applying. So Smart Apply is a very powerful tool as well. Radial Array will be probably another thing that's uh, that's really cool. So let's, uh, let's reset the location of this uh, cube by pressing Alt G. And I'm going to move it to the, you know, somewhere here. And I'm going to go to Hard Ops menu on the top and right, uh, control click on this menu here, which will create a radial array. Another way of creating radial array would be by, you know, going here uh, to Mesh Tools and right, uh, control clicking on this uh, tool as well. So you got, you know, multiple ways of creating this and you can create them um, um, different options in radial array that you can use. And depending on you know how you want this uh, array to be created, dice would be another tool that's bloody brilliant. So let me just uh, um, rotate this cube by 90. In fact, and let's apply the uh, the rotation. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to scale this. Okay, a little bit and apply the scale. Right. Now, let's say that I wanted to twist it around, and I'm gonna show you a twist 360 tool. Everything is cool, but you see that you know these faces are well not really well bent they just you know kind of like breaking right so the way to do this and uh, the way to fix this would be to simply go to uh, grab this uh, shape and go to dice and you can dice this with uh, basically a knife project so it's as if you were adding loop cuts to this shape but you know through the end guns right so you don't care what kind of shape you're using you can go through end guns and boom there you go a very smooth array uh, i mean the 360 twist right with like literally two clicks lattice you know i use lattice a lot it's um it's a bit exotic because you know you don't use it every day but if you need to use it let's say that i had a you know shape like this and the lattice goes brilliantly with with dice because you know let's say that i had a shape like this and you know how how on earth if i apply this right how on earth would i add um you know loops to this one i can't so i need to use lattice right i mean sorry i need to use um dice so i go to mesh tools and add dice right and you can just move your mouse and simply slice it and now i got project you know projection with knife through that shape now i can go to lattice and um add a modifier through a brilliant you know very compact uh, hard ups modifier um menu and see, I don't have to add anything else. All I do is go to Q and I simply add add loops, right? With this, I didn't apply the scale. That's why Lattice is throwing errors. So let's apply the scale. And now let's apply this again. So add modifier, not bevel. Add modifier and Lattice. Okay, and there you go. Now I'm going to select the Lattice. And I can just add, you know, add segments to it. And now, you know, I could bend it, right? So I could, for example, go to... I could deform it now, right? So I could, you know, grab these top ones, you know, and, you know, uh, let's grab the uh, proportional editing tool, go to side view, R, and, you know, start deforming it, right? And Bob Joancle, you know what I mean? So Lattice and Dice together, extremely powerful tool, okay? Not a powerful thing in hard ups is the menus, you know, you got the Q menu, which is very quick, you got access to modifiers, you know, all kinds of operations, you know, everything is just genius, you know, bevel, sharp and all this stuff. And it's an intelligent menu too, because it tells you, you know, suggests you what would be the most common um, tool that would be probably used next. So, you know, if I have, a, if I create a shape, right, it's a cube. I want to probably add a bevel, so I add a bevel. Then probably I want to add weighted normals. Alt click on sharpen. Then maybe I want to array this, 
you know, done, right? But if I'm in edit mode, I might be using different tools. So you get different tools in here that you could be using, you know, for example, if I subdivide this, right, and press shift R, you know, let's say that I wanted to, I don't know, um, add a circle or something, okay, or whatever, you know, it's just a very cool way of um, suggesting tools. Then you got stuff like control tilde, which is basically, a, you know, like a master control of everything, you know, booleans, all kinds of settings, etc. right, I mean, the modifiers. Uh, then you got shift q menu you know a uh, shortcut you got a shortcut for bevels for uh, alt v menu which is genius you know you can you can add all kinds of stuff stuff here check for example face orientations you can add camera lights with like one click you can change settings of you know cycles of eevee change it from low uh, low quality to high quality with literally one click so you don't have to go to eevee if you're working in eevee and you know turning off bloom ambient occlusion uh, changing um changing shadow quality manually all you do is just go here and and simply alt v and you know you, you change if you low quality and everything gets turned off you go back here if you high quality everything gets turned on and you can by the way set all these manually to determine uh, what kind of settings are assigned to ev hq and ev low uh, you know lq so you can change this and create custom profiles you know so you can enable or disable stuff in here if you need to quickly change between two different qualities another cool thing in hardops is a dot menu so let's say i wanted to i don't know add a bevel to this cube okay not this one let's go with this one right which is a smart bevel okay yeah, i don't have to go back here i can simply right click and click on a dot and you know play with this bevel here and the same as for example all kinds of tool in here like let's say this uh, radial array right if i had this radial array running in here i'm gonna have a second dot right different color for the array so i simply you know control hold control and right click and i get this pop-up menu i can quickly adjust things right now the last thing i want to talk about is uh, a line tool which is quite a recent addition to hard ups and it's insanely useful okay um i i just i use it like literally all the time so let's say i wanted to align myself to this face right you can do it in vanilla blender by pressing shift 7 and orthographic view but then rotating around this view you need to remember which key does what right and it's a little bit fiddly because you need to remember the number of things now with hard ups uh, i have it mapped to the align tool to uh, alt q uh, sorry control q and all you now do is simply you know hold shift control or alt or simply nothing and you can rotate to different views it's just genius you know alt q and i'm rotate i'm aligned you know uh, i just hold control and i rotate and it's in increments too which is perfect because if i want to now cut this one with box cutter you know I can easily do it right so if you combine these tools you know together it's just it's just blessed to work with this thing you know that's what it is well guys that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it give us a like and sub if you did as usual links in the video description to hard ups box cutter mesh machine deco machine kit ups cable rater all the add-ons that i use in my daily workflows every day and I swear by them. So if you need them, get them. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next video.